On the night of June 12th, I was at Pulse having a great night with friends. We were getting ready to leave when we heard the first shot ring out. Fortunately, all my friends got out safely. I was not so lucky. I was shot multiple times, affecting both of my legs, left hip, and a shattered femur bone. We're standing here today to make it perfectly clear to politicians all across this country that the LGBTQ community needs gun safety laws that protect our community, and we don't need them later. We don't need them in a year or two years. We need them now. We're gonna stand with gun violence survivors, like Angel and so many others, with candidates like Val and Stephanie, with veterans, with lawmakers, with gun owners like myself and Gabby. And we're gonna say something really important, that we, all of us here, are the vocal majority, and we refuse to be silent. Each and every one of you is helping to give voice. And this November, we need to elect candidates, candidates up and down the ballot who not only stand up for the equal dignity of the LGBTQ community, but stand up for everyone's right to live and to love free from fear and violence. Stopping gun violence takes courage. The courage to do what's right, the courage of new ideas. I've seen great courage when my life was on the line. Now is the time to come together, be responsible, Democrats, Republicans, everyone. When we turn out, we literally have the power to decide elections. When we turn out, we also have the power to help change the course of history.